Crystal Wick here with Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. Hi, Crystal. My partner in crime, getting into <laughs> trouble and fun. Today, we have everybody's favorite, leather. Yes. Leather's been very popular. And it still. continues, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. And we've made a lot of fun things. Yes. We do. So let's dive okay. in okay. and show you guys what we did. Okay. I want to show something first, very special. <clears throat> it's a necklace, a beautiful necklace that Sherry did. And it is Halloween, she made that for Halloween, but I wanted to show what you can do with leather. Not only bracelet, but you can really cut and form the piece as you want, like she make a bat out of this. And then she used also leather to do some uh, little medallion. Oh, those pretty. Those are really cute. And then she just put rivet on top of them with embellishment. So her approach is more of a sculptural yes. aspect. So she made sculptural pieces yes. as opposed to just your basic, you know, cords and bracelets. Mm -hmm. and nice. Yeah, exactly. Very, very elegant. I think it's it's a great idea to show that it's not just bracelet that you can make, but like you say, some sculpture also, mm -hmm. and you make some very intricate uh, jewelry. That's beautiful. It is mm -hmm. beautiful. And now let's have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to show uh, those. Oh, this is still very popular. It's the Swarovski cup chain with leather that you wrap. Love that. And, and every color gold. in the rainbow, right? Yes. As you can see, the, yes. the leather comes in lots of different colors mm -hmm. and the cording. And so what, so what are you using there to wrap on that? It's a Chinese comb. Okay. And it's, it's a pretty easy one to use, and, and when you um, do the end, it melts really well, so you don't end up with a big knot. Oh, You can nice. hide the knot and melt the... So you use one of those little melting tools that yes. melts the ends of the cord. Yes. That's really clean. So nice looking. Mm -hmm, easy. Then, if you don't want to do something complicated, we have those uh, sliders that you can put directly on the bracelet, on the piece of leather. So you have sliders like that, oh. that can fit here, a five millimeter piece of leather, or sliders that are a little bigger like that. And then the one that I really like also is the pinch, oh, like this. Look at that. So you can see it pinch here, right? So you slide your leather and you pinch on the back. And then it stays where you put it. And it stays. <gasps> and here I have this really cute bracelet. I love this. Oh like my that. gosh. And so those are pinch? Those are all pinch. Oh, I so did you, not know that. You put them on your so bracelet. Cute. Yeah, and you take a, a chain of pliers and you just pinch them on the side. Very thick. Isn't that cute? Yes. I mean, like, you could do that and be going out that evening with yes. that bracelet. That's yes. so cute. And so I didn't sweet. pinch them too hard like that. I'm able to move them. Oh, okay. If I want to, you know, sure. move them a little, if I feel like, oh, I need a little more space here, more there. Those are so mm -hmm. cute. It is. Oh, really and then like just a, a magnetic clasp. So it's really easy to do. There is no technique, <laughs> no thing. It's just pinching on it. Nice. Yeah. And then we have here uh, the Wrigley's bracelet. The Wrigley's leather has just been, yes. oh my goodness, landslide, yes. popular success, mm -hmm. right? So just to show you how easy it is, um, so you have a piece of leather like that. Mm -hmm. And to cut, we have this tool. It is a very wonderful tool. It cuts very easily. So you just place your piece of leather in the tool and you just squeeze. Oh, look at that. Clean cut. Very nice. Piece of cake. Yes. Okay. And then we have here some very beautiful copper from Patricia Hilly. Those are gorgeous. And you just slide like that, like I did on this bracelet. And uh, then you can just slide the clasp. Here I use also some of her copper. In the same way, you just slide the clasp on the end. You slide the clasp, you put some glue. This is a great glue to use. You just put a little of glue, push the clasp, press it. Done. Wow. Anybody can do that. Yes. <laughs> you can do 10 in a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we do explain how to measure also the bracelet, mm. the length, because the clasp mm. take space. Sure. And you need to know, I mean, if you look at this one, it's very small. Mm -hmm. It's because I have a very small wrist and I like those big bracelets to fit tight on mm -hmm. my wrist. You so don't like it bangling around no. or jumping around on your wrist. No, so that's why they are that small. So oh. you need to know how to measure the, the length of the leather. Uh, the other thing that I love using with 
is those little rings. Oh, there They're we called go. They're O-rings. O-rings. And I like those because sometimes when the slider is too loose, it stops. Okay. The slider right there. And here you can use them as oh. decoration too. Wow, what a nice decorative element. And then you just have a little tiny splash of color if you want. Yes. That's cute. Okay, nice. So here's some more regalies. And mm. this time the designer, what she did, she embellished mm. with some peyote mm. rings. Love that idea. Isn't it great? And then she just slid the peyote rings on just like yes. you showed how to put a slider on there. Yes, and that's it. I think that's a great really idea. cool idea. Mm -hmm. On this one here, I wanted to use some seed beads because, of course, I like seed beads. And I just punch holes, put the tiraka spacer, string my beads, put another tiraka, and went back and forth. And oh. I just sew those beads on the bracelet. How cute is that? Yes, it's like the one that you have on your yes, arms look at too. This one. It's the same as the same technique where you sew the beads. I love this one. Oh my goodness. This one is e very. It's easy. It looks harder yes. than what you're describing. Yes. But it's really easy, yes. Oh. And then, um, so more leather embellishing. Here I made a little bracelet for my daughter. And uh, what I did is I used those tiracas flowers. So cute. And stacked them together and put an eyelet in the middle. Oh. And then other embellishment is just rivets on the side. I thought that was really cute. And you can use also leather flowers. I think those are adorable. Yeah, again, great for stacking and yes. getting some dimension and depth to your pieces. So you can stack like that and put another flower on top. The sky's the limit. Yeah. Really, really cute fun. for kids or for young ladies yes. that love that kind of style because it's so it popular is. right now. Mm -hmm. oh. yes. Those, I think those are great too. So that is a chain. Gorgeous chain. <laughs> <laughs> I love that chain. The, the chain is amazing. So That's beautiful. True. And the, the way how you do that is you weave the piece of leather in the chain. Oh. And that's it. And we have on the learning center. Okay. Um, Take instructions how to do that. Yes. Great. Yes. And look how many colors you can do also with some really cool patterns. I think they're really neat. Love it. Very hip looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in here, this is one that I made with the metal clay disc. That you give me. That's one of my favorites. Look <laughs> at that. It's gorgeous. All the colors and the dimensions and the crystals. And yes. And again, it's, it's just sewing. I just sew things together. Look at that. Um, here, we have some Swarovski rivets. Really? So you use the, um, the Swarovski tool. The rivet tool. The, the rivet tool. Yes. And then you just put the rivets in like that. It's yes. that easy? It is easy. You oh. just use the tool and you just punch it. Gosh, that's fun. And they come in different colors, too. Yeah, one of each, please. <laughs> come on, Christmas is coming. <laughs> that's a great gift idea. It is. Very fast and yeah. easy. Yeah. Wow. And then look at those two really cute bracelets. I think those are so, so lovely. Mm -hmm. And the enameling is so popular right now. The look of enameling. And here you already have the pieces. And you yeah. just sew them on, right? Yes, exactly. It's the wow. same system, punching holes, putting the, the bead through and just sewing. And it's the oh. same for this one too. But it's really cute. Those are lovely. And you look at different look. Some bracelets. Yeah, I kinda too. went crazy too with the tiara <laughs> cast and the leather. Oh, I really like the as you know, the colors. Brighter the better. And so some of these here are kind of, they're very bright and they have metallic sheen to them. Mm -hmm. And I just thought those were really fun. And then again, doing the riveting and adding I here a that. charmed in the middle. Yeah, that was a really fun piece because um, it was an accident. Don't tell. <laughs> yes, I have them too, just like you guys. Well, don't we always have yes, them? Yes, we do. <laughs> well, it was too short, obviously. So I said. I'll put two together and I'll put a pretty but charmed bead in the middle with crystal. And so I think it's really edgy, you know, it it's is. kind of like that. Yeah, like this guy too. You can also, you know, hammer in your favorite word, your yeah. name, any of that, which is really fun to do. Mm -hmm. And then use that again. It's the same technique of riveting. And we have all these really fun pieces that you can rivet onto the metal. The metal pieces you can rivet onto the leather, mm -hmm. and um, some of these here I 
da used a dapping block, so I made them curved. Because right. if they come flat, a lot of the metal pieces come flat. If you want it in the middle of your bracelet, you want to dap it so that it's a little curved. So mm -hmm. that's what I did with these, and it's very easy, very simple. What I really like in that is when I see those, I think they go only in the bigger piece of leather, and oh, you use no. them for the five millimeters, and I yeah. think it's great. They look see, wonderful. Look at that. Yeah, because I think um, it makes it a more more of a focal. You know, right. like the piece stands out when it's in this little tiny leather, and I love that. Because I'm always about, you know, bigger is better. I love the big. Right. But I know a lot of people there, they don't want to wear really large jewelry. So some of these smaller pieces are cute. They're very yeah, sweet. They are very fun. Cute. Well, how about that? That's a lot of leather. <laughs> it was. <laughs> As you can That's see, cute. we had a lovely time. Oh, just really fun. Oh, well, thanks for sharing all of this, Cynthia. I know You're you welcome. guys are going to have a good time. We're going to keep you busy with all this, aren't we? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And thanks for joining us at Art Beats Cafe, where we had all things leathery today, which is really delightful. Sign up for our newsletter and our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. And as always, Cynthia and I, our motto, happy beating! <laughs>